we need to talk about może. We've all been here. After plenty of lessons, it's finally time for us to start using the language in real-life situations. We feel so confident and enthusiastic. And then, we start hearing the words that we'd never expect in a certain context. Može is one of them. Mogu li da platim evrima? Može, može. Može jedna kafa sa mlekom? Može račun? Može, izvolite. And then we become lost. Ništa ne razumem. Because what we learned about this word before is that može is third person singular of a verb moći. Ja mogu, ti možeš, on ona može. So we know that we can use it in examples like this. Ona može da popije mnogo kafe. She can drink a lot of coffee. Or on može satima da svira gitaru. He can play guitar for hours. We are also familiar with this small talk. Kako si? Nije loše. Može i bolje. But what does it mean when people use this word when it obviously doesn't mean anything like he or she or it can? First of all, apart from its main usage, može could also be used as impersonal form. So it doesn't have to be related to anyone or anything in particular. This usage of može is very typical for colloquial language. We use it when we approve something or when we agree with something that's been mentioned previously. We also use it if we want to ask for something. For instance, if we would like to get or do something. Može ovako. Idem u shopping. Uzet ću tvoju karticu. Može? Može. So if you remember these people, they all use može to ask for something or even to get a confirmation of something. The hairdresser's question could be understood like how about this? Would this be okay? While the women are asking if they could get something, whether it's coffee with milk or bill or husband's credit card. In these situations, people are given an approval or agreement to what's been said to them. Distracted husband on the sofa gave a permission to his wife to use his card. While the cashier and a waiter confirm that their customers can do what they asked for. So, their statements simply mean, yes, you can. We hope that this makes at least a little bit more sense to you now. You would also make us happy if you could like or share this video or subscribe to our YouTube channel for more Serbian lessons. Može!